One journalist who had the rare opportunity to meet Francois Simon face to face reported that with his tight three piece velveteen suit and broad silk foulard, he gave the impression of a Dickensian dandy, while his thick, tussled hair gave him an air of mischievousness. On encountering him, few would suspect that he is, in fact, France's most widely read, most respected, and most feared restaurant critic. With a fountain pen as razor sharp as a butcher's knife, he has been slicing, grilling, and roasting his subjects for over two decades, and his weekly columns for the newspaper Le Figaro can fill a dining room overnight or sound the alarm for an uncertain future. For Monsieur Simon, anonymity is paramount in his profession. He always makes reservations under a pseudonym and usually eats alone. He pays for his meals with alias credit cards, refusing free gifts or special treatment, and believes he is one of the few remaining restaurant critics in France to do so. It is much easier to turn into a courtesan, to be inside rather than outside the house of the chefs, he says. But this is a terrible thing for the French press. If and when the chef arrives at my table, then emotion arrives and the analysis is over. Customers don't normally have this relationship, so why should I? It is this detachment that allows Simone to be famously outspoken in print. Never afraid to be an outsider and a provocateur. In fact, he prides himself on these qualities. He has little use for the Michelin and Gold Mio grading systems that have created a rigid gastronomic hierarchy and transformed chefs into superstars and has slammed many of Paris's gastronomic icons. Reputedly the inspiration for Anton Ego, the restaurant critic in the 2007 Pixar film Ratatouille, the genuine Simone is younger and far less pompous than his cinematic version. In addition to running a blog that includes his secret video recordings, Simon makes weekly disguised appearances on a French cable television show and actively solicits his readers' comments by printing his direct phone number at the bottom of his columns. He also shamelessly boosts his favorites and, as his trumpeted favorite bistro, Paul Bear, enjoys a coveted reputation many a Michelin-starred chef would only dream of. There's no secret to Chef Aubonneau's success, Simon declares. His menu is a model for the bistro genre. Fresh hand-picked ingredients, the wine list of a connoisseur, and a passion for good food. With French bistro cooking, Simon breaks down the qualities of a perfect bistro experience, and he convinced Chef Aubonneau to divulge 60 of the Bistro Paul Bear's signature recipes. <laughs> 